everyone, welcome back to Dilla's Kitchen. Today I'll be making Malta South Afrikaans Maltad with a sweet biscuit crust topped with cinnamon. In celebration of Heritage Day, which is a public holiday that celebrates South Africans' diversity, let's get to it. I have 80 grams of butter, soft butter. I have one third cup of sugar with one egg. I'm just going to add a teaspoon of vanilla essence. And I'm going to mix it with the electric mixer. Adding a pinch of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, to one and a half cups of flour and I'll be adding this gradually the first half and then I'll add the second half so this is the crust that I'm making okay I've added the rest of the flour and now I'll be using my clean hands just to bring it together it's a very soft dough so this is the consistency of the dough it's quite a soft dough as you can see I'm gonna start rolling it out so you can decide whether you want to place it in the fridge and roll it out so I'm gonna start rolling out my dough I'm rolling, rolling it out on a silicon mat. You can use cling wrap or whatever you have. And you can also decide whether you wanna do it thin base or thick base. I'm using a loose base pan. You can use a Pyrex dish, whatever you have. I'm just gonna quickly try and Sort it out the edges. So I use my leftover dough, dip it into a bit of flour just to smooth the sides like this. Remember, the dough doesn't have to be perfect because you are using a filling. And this is what I do. It's a very, very soft dough. I'm going to place it into the fridge for about 10 to 15 minutes while we start with the filling. I have one liter of milk that I'm adding to a pot and I'm going to bring the milk to a boil. I have four egg yolks here and my egg whites. I separated my four eggs. I'm adding half a cup of sugar to my egg yolks. And I am mixing this. I took some of the hot milk, added it to a smaller jar here. I have a third cup of flour. And I am mixing, adding the hot milk to it. And I also have a third cup of custard powder. You can use corn flour if you don't have custard powder. And mix it until it's well combined and until there's no lumps. Grams of butter to the milk mixture. wait until it's the butter is melted I just removed it from the heat I'm adding this mixture to the milk and now I will just be whisking I 
I have it on very low heat. I will just be whisking until it's thick. So make sure you whisk so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. I'm adding a teaspoon of vanilla essence and it's ready. I'm going to transfer it to my crust now. I have my four egg whites here that I just whipped up. I'm going to fold it in gently. So the last time I made this milk tart, I actually made two. I made a, I made two small ones, so I'll just see how far I made two milk tarts, two small milk tarts, but today I'm using a deeper pan, so I'll just see once I start transferring it, if I can make two. I'm just making a few holes in the crust and I'm going to add my filling. My oven is already preheating at 180 degrees Celsius and I'm going to bake it. Yeah, you see I'm using everything so I'm just making one today. I'm going to bake it for 30 to 35 minutes until it's golden brown. Okay, so I'm just adding cinnamon to it and then it's going into the oven for 30 to 35 minutes and we will be back. So I just took my milk tart out of the oven. I'm going to leave it to cool down completely and there will be a picture on Facebook and Instagram of the cut milk tart. So milk tart is still one of the most divine desserts in South Africa. My mum and I made a lot of milk tarts back in the day and it just takes me right back to my childhood. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, follow me on Instagram or Facebook. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching and God bless. Where you